Good evening, everyone, and apparently I'm Fox West Texas meteorologist at Britain Mesaw. Have to give a quick shout out to our anchor, Bert, for the idea to reference the apparently kid in the weather cast. Outside right now on our San Angelo Sky Tracker, just a gorgeous Monday evening. I want to turn your attention to Wednesday and Thursday. That's why I'm expecting the most impactful weather this week. Potentially record-breaking high temperatures both of those days set daily high temperature records. If we don't do it, we're going to get very close. I have warm temperatures in my forecast. Make sure you're drinking a lot of water, and if you have any outdoor plants for Wednesday and Thursday, you're definitely going to be one. Of, you're definitely going to want to wear lots of sunscreen. And here's why: we have a ridge of high pressure, and it's basically going to be sitting right on top of West Central Texas. When you have that ridge of high pressure, it provides sinking air, and air warms as it sinks, and also really suppresses those rain chances. Because for clouds and rain, you want the opposite. You want rising air. So. Thanks to that ridge of high pressure, expected to be quite warm this week. It was a warm start to the work week today. We actually woke up on the cool side of things, 68 for your low this morning. Compare that to the typical low of 73, high of 99, right where we typically are for this time of year. Thankfully, not in record, tory, record territory for your Monday. Still hanging on to those fairly warm temperatures, 80s and 90s area-wide. 87 right now in Junction, 86 in Ozona. Still hanging on to the 90s, both in the Key City and in San Angelo. Wanting to do any work outside for your Toasty Tuesday? I definitely recommend doing it in the morning. We'll wake up in the mid 70s, quickly going to be warming up to the upper 90s. And I think a lot of us are going to see those lower triple digits for your highs. I want to talk about the weekend for a second. A couple of folks were lucky enough to see some rain. Had a tenth of an inch recorded at San Angelo Mathis Field. Keep in mind, the airport's on the south side of San Angelo. North side of San Angelo picked up on an inch of rain. So it was truly a tale of a lot of rain and not a lot of time or basically no rain, no rain recorded in Ameline. Nothing to talk about on radar really right now in West Central Texas. I would do want to point your attention to Tropical Storm Debbie. Still a fairly well-defined center of circulation, kind of to the north of Jacksonville right now in Georgia. And you'll notice a lot of green polygons all across the Carolinas and Georgia. That's because this system is dumping a lot of rain. That's the main impact from Tropical Storm Debbie. Highs of 106, both for Wednesday and Thursday. Those are my weather impact alert days for San Angelo. High of 107 for Abilene, both Wednesday and Thursday. Otherwise, looking to stay very hot. You'll notice, though, nice to cool down, 104 for Friday. Of course, being a little sarcastic. For your latest updates, you can always find them by following me on social media. Damien?